In today's video, I'm going to be attempting to play Minecraft Java Edition on my phone using a free app called Pojav Launcher. A lot of people have been telling me to check this out, so today I went ahead, grabbed my Android phone, and I installed Pojav Launcher on there. So in this video, we're going to be checking out Pojav Launcher on my phone, seeing how it runs, what kind of performance we get. We're going to be hopping on Hypixel, doing some PvP, and make sure to stick around to the end to see my really scuffed mobile gaming setup. If you're new around here, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe down below. If we get 5,000 likes on this video, I'll go ahead and install Pojav Launcher on my iPhone 13 Pro Max. It's going to require a jailbreak. It's going to avoid my warranty. But if we get 5,000 likes, I'll do that. Also, I'm going to be doing a Minecraft account giveaway over on my Discord. All you've got to do is join my Discord in the description down below. Go to the giveaways channel, react on the bot there. Stay active in my Discord, the giveaway ends in two weeks, and one lucky person will win one Minecraft Premium account. Okay, so to play Minecraft Java Edition on our phone, we need to go ahead and get this app called Pojav Launcher. You can get it on the Google Play Store simply by searching for it. It's the first one that comes up. So yeah, you just install that from the Play Store, pretty easy to do. And then once you've downloaded it, open it up. All right, so this is what you'll see when you first open up Pojav Launcher. And it's very similar to the Minecraft Java Edition Launcher. Very similar design. So what you want to go ahead and do is log in to your Minecraft account here. Now this is available for premium only Minecraft accounts. But as I said at the start of the video, I am giving one away. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and sign in and uh, I'll show you how to get Minecraft set up on this thing. All right, so I've just logged into Pojav Launcher here. All right, so I've gone ahead and pressed play here. And yeah, just let it do its thing. And uh, let's see it open up. And yeah, here we are. So we're on the latest version 1.12 right now. So let's go ahead and create a world and see what Minecraft's like running off my phone. This is going to be really interesting. Be interested to see how many FPS we get on this thing. And boom, here we are. We are playing Minecraft on my phone right now. Oh my god, look at this. All right, so I can't use my mouse for some reason. Oh, there we go. I just need to click and drag. I wonder if we can go into F3 here. Is there an F3? I don't think there is. Oh yeah, here. There's a debug thing here. Yeah, look at our FPS. This is on a phone. Wow. The quality isn't the best because I am streaming my phone to my PC, so I apologize about that. But yeah, look at this. Let's see what video settings we're running here. So I think by default, the video settings are on the lowest. So let's go ahead and try and bump it up. I don't really want to blow up my phone here. Let's try and put on smooth lighting and fancy graphics. Let's see what FPS we get now. Still pretty good, actually. About 60 FPS, which is perfectly playable. But yeah, no, the FPS isn't too bad, actually. So if you haven't got a PC out there, just play on your phone. Like The FPS is actually really good. It's actually probably better than my low-end PC that I was doing a couple of videos on. I'm running this on a Google Pixel 4, and the performance is actually really good. It is recommended that you have 3 gigabytes of RAM on your phone. If you don't know how to check that, then just search up your phone on Google. I know I've got 6 gigabytes of RAM on this phone, so yeah, I've got double what I need, really. But yeah, I'm actually really surprised by the performance of this. If you guys don't believe that I'm actually playing this on my phone, Boom. <laughs> this is what it's connected to right now. So yeah, you can play with the touch controls as I'm doing right here. It's quite difficult. You have to kind of like use these uh, arrow keys. You kind of need two hands for it. And I'm recording with one. But it's a lot like Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Similar kind of controls. There we go. So yeah, it's not too bad actually. Oh, it does have auto jump on for me. So that's going to save me. My phone is getting quite hot actually. It's quite hot to touch. But honestly, this is actually really good. If you want to play Minecraft Java Edition and you've only got a phone or a tablet, then Pojav Launch is definitely for you. But yeah, I'm not really a, a mobile gamer, so I think I'll stick with the good old keyboard and mouse here connected to my monitor. But yeah, let's go on Hypixel and try and do some PvP on my phone. All right, guys, so I've just switched over to Minecraft 1.8.9. So I don't really want to be playing on Minecraft 1.12 to play Hypixel. So yeah, let's go on Hypixel. We were getting pretty good FPS before on single player. But as you know, Hypixel is quite demanding, especially in the hubs. So uh, let's try it out. All right, so here we are playing Hypixel on my phone. Oh my God, I never thought I'd be able to see the day where this would actually work. But here we are. Let's go ahead and throw on the debug menu here. 
And the FPS isn't actually too bad. Look at this. In about 60, 50, 60 FPS. And we're on pretty high settings as well. Now, I don't think there's a way to get Optifine on Pojav Launcher. If there is, definitely let me know in the comments down below and I'll definitely try and check it out. But I'm really surprised by this. All right, so we're going to hop into a duel here. And uh, yeah, it's pretty scuffed how I'm going to be able to do this because obviously I'm using my mouse to kind of drag and look around. So what I've done is I've actually bound my attack button to a key on my keyboard. So yeah, we're not going to be getting very good CPS here because I've got to spam a key on my keyboard to try and attack. But yeah, <laughs> let's see how, it, how we get on with this. Okay, we just got completely destroyed. <laughs> oh, this is just... It's probably easier just to play on the touch controls, man. But yeah, Minecraft is not designed for touch. That's why they've got the Bedrock Edition versions. And it shows, honestly. Like, this is really difficult. Ah, there we go. No! All right, we got that guy low. I thought we were going to kind of win that there. I don't know. The keys, the key layout on this is just stupid, man. So stupid. Why would you put your attack button right next to the forwards? I don't get it. This guy's going to... Just kill me, man. <laughs> really? Really? I'm actually going to die to him. <sighs> All right, guys. So I've worked out how you can change your control layout on Pojav Launcher. You just open it up, just log in here, and you want to go to options here, custom controls, and boom, you can mess it around and just drag these anywhere. So that's really good. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try this. I've got my primary and secondary here. Should probably put that maybe like this. And yeah, we'll give this a go and see what it's like. All right, so we're going to go ahead and try and play another duel now. I'm playing with keyboard and mouse, but hopefully with our new uh, primary and secondary button layout here. We should be able to do a little bit better than we were doing before. I don't even think I'm going to try playing on my phone screen. If you're a mobile player out there and you're good at PvP, then power to you, honestly, because it is so difficult for someone like me to pick up. I'm really going to have to practice this a lot off camera. Oh, you're just a tryhard. <laughs> I've got nothing. I'm on a phone. All right, so I'm fed up of just dying to people because I'm on my phone. So here it is, my scuffed gaming setup. So what I've done is I've got my phone here. I've connected it to a USB-C dongle. I've connected a wireless keyboard and mouse to it. So now I've got mouse support. As you can see, if I move my mouse here, that's all good. And same with the keyboard. I've also got it connected to my PC and I've actually been able to stream the gameplay to my main screen. So that not only means that I'm not looking at a tiny little phone screen to play Minecraft, but it also makes things a lot easier to record. There's a little bit of latency, but hopefully it's manageable. Anyway, I'm gonna switch over to my screen capture software and uh, let's try and do some proper PVP on my phone. Right, so here we are playing duels with a keyboard and mouse that we can actually use this time. And uh, yeah, we're using my scuff setup, so hopefully we can get a win on uh, Pojav Launcher on my phone. This will be my first duels win if I can pull it off. So let's see how we do. Oh my, the latency. It's actually easy just to look through my phone. Come on. Yes. Yes! We won! We won the duel on my phone! Okay, yeah, we did use the keyboard and mouse, but the latency is just so bad. I'm actually, it's actually easier just looking through my tiny phone screen. The only reason I'm streaming it to my PC is just so you guys can see, so I don't have to record my phone. But, wow. <laughs> I mean, that guy wasn't the best, admittedly. But, 
Wins a win. Oh! I'm getting used to the latency. No! No, how did he win that? We destroyed him. So yeah, that's going to be the video, guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video of me attempting to play Minecraft on my phone. If it was really laggy right now. The latency streaming to my monitor is just unbearable. So I'm probably just going to end off the video here. And hopefully by next time, I'll hopefully have a better solution to uh, this entire setup. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Thank you guys 